Hi, this is JP from Not Alliance Over Arkham. Uh, this time I am playing Rax with the pre built protection deck, and I am playing after a long while the Breaking Crew, and I decided to play the B uh, version of the villains. So let's get started. So I got my Drax hero pack sleeved up and I was debating on which scenario I wanted to try out the new deck and because I haven't played Wrecking Crew in a long time I decided to try that out. Uh, it should be interesting to see how Drax can deal with the multiple villain scenario. The scenario in itself is not that hard with a decently built deck but I think it's an interesting uh, scenario with pre-built deck which I haven't played before so uh, this will be <laughs> either a, a easy easy game or then we will get totally destroyed and because I still don't have the vengeance counters for uh, Drax I'm using these ones which are basically just show uh, how much boost to your attack you have from from um, uh, different stuff, but uh, I won't use those to indicate any other plus to my attack than the vengeance points. So that uh, just saying that, so it's clear when I'm playing what those represent. Uh, we have uh, shoveled all the decks. I have um, set up the scenario with all the uh, threat in play. Uh, the active villain counter is on Wrecker, as usual, and uh, let's get started, so I'll draw my opening hand, so it's six cards, let's see what, what we get, so we get Energy, Gamora, Subdue, Athletic Conditioning, Knife Leap and Deflection, so I'm uh, first of all thinking of keeping Gamora and the Energy. Athletic conditioning is not important yet. Uh, I'm thinking these all are not that useful. So I'm I'm mulliganing all of the rest. So four more cards. So leaping blow, counter punch. Dominable and too stubborn to die. So this is really good to get uh, into play early because that guarantees that we won't die to a random uh, extra attack when we are low on health. So uh, I think first uh, we can't play Gamora before we switch to hero mode. There is no reason to stay in alter ego so we'll just flip to hero so I can play uh, Gamora. Uh, Leaping Blow is not that great yet, so I'm using Leaping Blow and Energy to play Gamora. And I think our game plan is to uh, go after Pile Driver first, defeat Pile Driver, then Bulldozer, then Thunderball, and lastly Wrecker. This is because uh, Pile Driver has the least health and Wrecker the most, so we'll to eliminate the villains so that we get uh, rid of the ones with low health to get out of them out of the game faster. I'm using Indomitable Counter Attack to play the two Stubborn to Die so that, that it is in play already. So I'm not using Gamora yet. Uh, just debating, uh, should I start hitting on pile driver? Well, I think I'm hitting on pile driver, so uh, we take an consequential damage and also retaliate. And we hit for two. Then Rax hits for one, takes a retaliate. And that is basically our turn. 
Uh, we we'll draw back up. Uh, ready and draw back up. So we have a hand size of four. Oh yeah, and uh, after Gamora attacked, we will uh, discard cards from the top of our deck until we discard an event and add it to our hand. So not an event, not an event. Get hard knocks, but I'm thinking of discarding this. Then we will draw back up to four. Okay, so we get knife leap. And this strength and parry. Parry is really good, and I think uh, we'll use the rest of the cars to play man this next turn. So I'm just checking after the villain attacks. So we still don't get the vengeance point when the villain attacks, but just thinking aloud for the parry. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, wrecker attacks. Uh, I think I'm defending. So I'm defending. But I also. Well, let's see. Uh, wrecker hits for three. So doesn't get the plus two because we are defending. Uh, move the active counter to the villain with the least threat on his or side scheme. That villain schemes. So this goes to the pile driver and pile driver schemes two. Oh yeah, and uh, we should add one to every other. Also, always forgetting these small rules that this scenario has. Okay, and uh, still, I think the attack comes through. I'll use the parry. So we defend for two and negate two, so we don't take any damage, but still um, get the one vengeance counter on Grax. Then we get the active uh, card from uh, Pile Driver. So, held hostage. Attached to the active villain side scheme. Threat cannot be removed from attached side scheme by thwarting. Hero action. The villain corresponding to the attached side scheme attacks you. Then discard this card. Okay, so I think we are actually using this to get rid of it and getting an extra. Uh, Vengeance counter on Drax, but that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we start by playing Mantis. So I use the knife leap and strength. Play Mantis and uh, uh, this is from an identity, so we could heal Gamora. Which is actually a good idea because Drax can't attack. So I'll use that to heal Gamora, and Gamora will hit for two and taking consequential damage. And uh, I think that is our turn. Nothing really fancy. And. Uh, as a hero action, I'll actually uh, get rid of this. So, Pile Driver attacks. And uh, not defending, so 3 plus 0. We take 3 damage, but we get an Vengeance counter over here. And we draw back up to our hand size, ready cards, and go to the villain phase. So we get leading flow, moon dragon, athletic conditioning, and fight me coward. Okay, so no defensive cards, but I think 
that is okay at this point. Uh, we go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, we add threats to all of the side schemes. Place this over here. There and this bit. And we move this to the villain with the most threat, so back to Wrecker. Uh, Wrecker attacks and uh, Gamora will have... we forgot to draw an event, Let's see, I think. Uh, it was leading blow or something, so I kept it in hand, so nothing bad happened. So Gamora defends, so Wrecker hits for uh, 3 plus 3, so Gamora is defeated. We get an encounter card, and it's get wrecked. Uh, hero, the villain whose side scheme has the least threat attacks you. So, it is a bulldozer. Thinking if I want to defend. Actually, Yeah, I'm not defending. I just take it. So three plus one is four. Four damage, and we get the uh, third vengeance counter. So now those are starting to really, really work. So um, yeah, I think that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Well, uh, I think we are not seeing that many minions, so Moon Dragon is not that useful. Should I heal first? I think I'm healing with Mantis. So heal for three. I'm using Drax to hit for four. Get one from Retaliate. And then I will use Fight Me card, Ready Your Hero, and Draw a card. And the villain attacks you, and the active villain is actually Wrecker. Do I want to defend? Wrecker hits for 5 plus the boost card, so that's maybe too much. I'm defending. So 3 plus 2 is 5, so minus 2 is 3, and we draw a card, because we are maxed out of those, and the sub 2 comes a bit late, but still I'm thinking of... Dragon. We play Moon Dragon just to block. We could also play that upgrade. We could also leading blow. So I'm using these to play Moon Dragon. Then I'm playing leading blow. Uh, no, we, we can't do that. I'm, I'm keeping the sub 2 in hand. I'm just playing Moon Dragon. And uh, Moon Dragon will actually dwarf for 1 for here. And that is our turn. We're ready up. Go back up to 4. We get Genius, Deflection, Intimidation, and Sub 2. So, well, uh, we could play Deflection, then we have Sub 2. I think we can keep our allies. 
placed for uh, the time being. So we go to the villain phase, we add one threat to each scheme. The active villain stays on Wrecker, and the Wrecker attacks. I'm actually using Moon Dragon. So, uh, Wrecker get plus 3 attack for this activation unless you place the Moon Dragon. And we'll just keep the extra damage because it doesn't matter. Moon Dragon is defeated. Encounter card is uh, held hostage. Just put it in play. And that is the villain phase. Uh, let's go to the next hero phase. We could have played the last villain phase a bit different, but I think because we have these cards in hand, I'm just getting rid of this card. So, Wrecker attacks. I won't defend. I have plenty of cards to negate the damage, so. I'll play sub 2, so we negate 3, so it's um, 4, uh, I mean 2 plus 1, so 3, and I'll also play deflection. So when an identity would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent up to 5 of that damage discard cards from the top of your deck equal to the amount prevented this way, so 3. And uh, we take no damage, and we draw a card. So we got Fight Me card, so that actually is great. We can defeat uh, Pile Driver. So we'll hit Pile Driver for 4. Take 1, Retaliate. And uh, we'll actually, yeah, we'll play this ready your hero and draw one card. Bring that useful. And uh, Wrecker attacks, Mantis defense. So Mantis is defeated. And then we'll just defeat Pile Driver. So we remove Pile Driver from the game. That is one. Will I'm down. Then I'll flip to Alter Ego. We remove these and heal six. Back to ten, then we ready up, back up to six. Get deflection, leading blow, hard knocks, payback, parry, and Drax other knife. Okay, and we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme and all of the other schemes. So this triggers. So. After threat is placed here, if there is 10 or more threats here, deal 2 damage to each friendly character, remove all but 3 threats from the scheme. So, Drax takes 2. Then, the new active villain is Thunderball. Yeah, uh, let's continue adding these first. So, Thunderball schemes. So, when Thunderball schemes, place the threat on this his side scheme instead of the main scheme. Okay, so scheming for three plus move the active counter to the villain whose side scheme has the least threat and use Wrecker. So we add 3 here, so this also triggers. So let's see, and Gamma Blast. After threat is placed here, if there is 10 or more threat 
here stun each friendly character. Remove all but three. Okay, mm, so we place three back here. And we stun Rax. That is not that bad at the moment. So we'll draw the encounter card for Wrecker. Actually, did we do that? No, that was the boost card. So, uh, place two threat on each side scheme. This goes to five, this goes to five. And uh, this actually goes to ten. Clear the road. So, charge after the threat is placed here, if there is 10 or more threat here, each player must discard the top 10 cards of their deck, remove all but 3 threat cards. Okay. So we'll take out, and we'll get an extra encounter card for next turn. Just quickly shuffle this deck. Okay, and uh, that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. So I'm thinking we will... Uh, we will need to... See if we can find a way to... Us. No. Getting cars in correct order, apparently. So this we can use. with this okay um, we'll just use a leading blow to play Grax other knife so now we have retaliate one we'll just flip, remove the stun, and uh, we play the hard knocks, but these are really good. But these are not that good because we we don't have the vengeance counters at the moment. I'll just use these two. Deal uh, four damage to an enemy. So I'm not really liking Wrecker stealing too much, activating too much. So I think I'm dealing it to here. Start trying to defeat Wrecker. And that is our turn. Uh, we're ready up. Go back up to four. Deflection, hard knocks, energy, and counter punch. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add threat to the schemes. And. Uh, Wrecker is still the active. Well, uh, there is a tie with Thunderstruck and Wrecker. We could choose to move. Yeah, I think I'm doing this. So we can move it to the highest. So we can choose. 
So, Thunderball attacks. I won't defend. We play deflection. Yeah. So, uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. So we are deflect playing deflection. Take no damage. We get 1 here. And we discard 4. And we'll counter punch for two. And retaliate for one. Still have the hard knocks in hand, so not that useful. But then we get the uh, treachery. Uh, deal one. Oh, yeah. And. Uh, Deal 1 damage to each character with control. Deal 1 damage to each friendly character you control. So, another damage. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the natural phase. We are getting a bit too high on the threat on the main scheme, but I'm not sure what we can do about that at the moment. So, I think I'm just uh, hitting for one, discarding this, and going back for mm, here. Okay, uh, we get athletic conditioning, parry, knife leap, and five knee coward. We add a threat to the main scheme. Five here. Then we add threat to these. I'll keep it on uh, Thunderstrap. Uh, on Thunderball. So Thunderball attacks. I. I. I will defend for this one. No, I'll just take the damage. So uh, two plus uh, we'll discard an upgrade. So we'll discard the Drax Hunter knife because it was undefended. So we'll take two damage, but we will parry. take no damage from that and then we get the vengeance counter and counter card is escaped convict and it searches so we get the minion the active villain heals three points give that villain a tough status card okay. heals three Very nice. Okay, and that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. And I forgot when Thunderball attacked, I took one damage from the forced response. So I'm removing that now. So we could play Knife Leap, which is actually really good. So, yeah, and this gives uh, the knife leap gives us overkill on piercing, but the piercing we need to hit Thunderball straight to just remove the tough. So, I'm using this. We have two, or actually, yeah, let's do it like this. So, I just defeat this guy. Goes here. I'll play 
fight me coward. So Thunderball attacks. Draw a card. That's actually useful. So Thunderball attacks, I won't defend. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus 1. So we're down to 1. That's okay. We get a Vengeance counter. We play Knife Leap for 3. We deal... Um, we hit a Thunderball. We deal 4. And plus 5 is 9. And I think we'll play Intimidation. Oh yeah, and the top is removed because of the piercing. So, uh, remove X threat from a scheme where X is equal to your attack, and it is uh, 4. And uh, we'll remove 4 from here. And we'll flip to Alter Ego. So we remove this and heal for 6. And that is our turn. Ready up. We draw back up to 6. Next turn we have Deflection, Intimidate, Martyr, Subdue, Divided Mastery, and Subdue. Okay. We go to the Villain phase. We add a threat to here and to all of the side schemes. I'll keep the See if I want to change it up. We'll take a stun. That's not that bad. Yeah, we can just remove the stun next turn. Okay, so I keep it here. So Thunderbolt schemes for 3 plus 2 is 5. So this advances. And uh, we stun each character we have. So we stun Drax. That's not that bad. Uh, we'll get the counter card and it is get wrecked. Alter ego, the villain whose side scheme has the most threat schemes. Okay, so it's wrecker. Schemes for 4. So this advances. And each friendly character takes 2 damage. And it uh, this was an uh, encounter card, so not a boost card. Okay. That is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think I'm playing Martyr. Or not. Actually, yeah, I'm playing Martyr. We want to try to. Defeat Thunderball as fast as possible. So I'm playing Martyr. And we'll keep the deflection in hand. So Martyr uh, hits for two here. We'll heal for four. Yep. That is it. So we draw back up to four. Uh, counter punch. We leading blow, indomitable, and deflection. We go to the villain face. Add a threat to the main scheme. Side scheme, and actually, Bulldozer becomes the active villain. So I'm just defending. Actually, no, I'm, I use the deflection. So uh, we'll take uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, but I'll use deflection. Fate with Indomitable and Leading Blow. So, uh, 
we ignore four. So we discard four. And uh, then we'll counter punch for two. But uh, this actually just removes the stun, which is actually good. Yeah, because it's a attack event, so we remove the stun with that. And then we get the encounter card, and it is ramming speed. Attached to Bulldozer, forced interrupt. When Bulldozer attacks you, you must defend against Bulldozer attack with an ally you control if able. Forced response after Bulldozer attacks you, discard this card. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I think this turn will be just defeating Thunderball because we don't have any cards in hand. So Drax hits for two here. Uh, Martyr hits for two there and gets a tough status card because we defeat. Uh, was it only a minion? It's an enemy, so we get the tough on Martyr, which is really good. And uh, we remove Thunderball from the game. Then there were two villains left. So I'm hoping we, we can do this. Uh, that is all we can do. Be ready up. Go back up to four. Uh, genius, Drax Knife, Moon Dragon, and Leading Glob. So maybe we'll play Moon Dragon just for a jump blocker. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add threats, the schemes. The uh, bulldozer is still the active villain. So I have to defend with Marcher, but that's okay because we have the tough bulldozer. Doesn't have piercing. Yeah. So I think this doesn't get removed before bulldozer actively attacks us. Because we have to defend with ally. No, uh, it attacks us, but we have to defend with an ally, so after we discard it, I think. If I'm incorrect, uh, tell me in the comments so I, I'll play better next time. But yeah, Bulldozer attacks, and we remove the tough. This. And uh, we get an encounter card, and it's Bull Rush. Bulldozer attacks you. Mm -hmm. Discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by you this way. So I'll take it with Drax. And uh, 3 plus 1. So we discard 4. So we get the next one. Card. And we'll take four damage, but we'll get vengeance counter. So we don't have, have enough to play the uh, the knife and moon dragon next turn. But we'll see. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I'm thinking this turn will just. Uh, we could play Moon Dragon just to port one. I want to play Dracus Knife. We could play Leading Blow to make a double attack. Okay, I think that's better. Uh, so we can also keep 
keep on dragon in hand. So I'm using Genius to play Drax knife. So this is the plus one attack knife. So um, I will keep on hitting Wrecker. So I'm hitting for four damage. And I'm uh, doing this so yep, back up. So we'll uh, when your hero makes basic attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck, to reduce your hero stack for that and attack by the number of printed cost boost icons if that attack still deals damage ready your hero. So uh, this is the active uh, deck, so we'll be we'll here. So zero, so we still deal four damage, but we're ready of of Okay, and we can hit again. So I'll hit again for four. And uh, I'll flip to no. Uh, we can defend with Archer. So no, I think we should uh, play it safe. Yeah, so I'm I'm flipping. So I remove these and heal for four. And we ready up. I'll keep uh, actually discard one second. Too expensive and no, not that many minions. So we we'll draw back up to six. Uh, knife leap, white knee card, energy, athletic conditioning, tracks, other knife, and domino bow. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat here. Threats to these schemes. Nothing advances yet, but will now. So. See. So, uh, bulldozer schemes for uh, two plus one, so three. So this is advance, and we discard ten cars. Okay, let's see what we lost. So, Egomora was maybe a good, good keep, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, this uh, turns to three. Oh yeah, and this, let's see. So this doesn't uh, get move yet. So we'll get two encounter cards here. So uh, core prison guard. Okay, now the moon dragon be a better. And we get Bulldozer's Helmet, attacks the Bulldozer, forced response after Bulldozer attacks you, discard one card from the top of your deck for each point of damage dealt by this attack. Exhaust your hero and discard one card at random from your hand to discard this card. Okay. So, um, we need to get rid of the Prison Guard somehow. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do next turn, but that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So I think we don't have the ability to heal this turn. And uh, we have plenty of health actually, so... I'm... Uh, thinking of... Playing the knife leap. So we'll just flip and we'll close for that and we'll play the Rex other knife. Then we will knife leap. So I have plus five for this attack, so hitting three here and uh, four, two, so seven, so Four damage here. Uh, 
then um, I will play fight me coward ready draw a card get parry so bulldozer attacks me uh, let's see so four plus Five. I'll play the Barry before that activates, so I will reduce the damage by two, so I only have to take three. And uh, we'll use, oh yeah, we get vengeance points here. So I'm hitting uh, here for three Oya and uh, one retaliate here. So I hit three here, and uh, I'm actually using Martyr to hit for two, so we kill off uh, Wrecker with the Retaliate, following Hero Face. And that is our turn, uh, we're ready up, we draw back up to four. Oh, 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 back up, back up. Uh, yeah, let's put two back here. And uh, instead of hitting with Martyr, we will scheme for one here. Because uh, we would lose otherwise. So, yeah, <laughs> nearly, nearly lost the game there, but that is okay to backtrack that, that much. So... Um, we get four cards, we get counter punch, that's actually great. So now we can defeat Wrecker with the counter punch. Payback, uh, deflection, deflection. Okay. So, uh, that is the hero phase. We go to the villain phase, so we go back to five. And uh, we add one here. Here. So this moves here. So Wrecker is the active villain and attacks, so I won't defend. So three, four, five, six, and I'll use deflection. Use it with deflection and Yeah, these are basically the same. So. Yeah. So we take only two. And we retaliate for one. And we counter punch. So. Wrecker is defeated. And the encounter card comes from here because this is the active villain now. And it's an escape convict with searches uh, leading the charge. When we will discard the top X cards of your deck, your exit bulldozers attack, place one threat from bulldozers. Scheme for each different card type, discard it this way. Okay, so bulldozers attack is four, so we discard four cards. We have a upgrade event, event, event. So two threats goes on there. Okay, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. And I actually think we forgot to add one vengeance counter when. Uh, we got the attack from Wrecker, so I'll add, add it now. There's not that much to do on this round, so we will hit 
and damn it. we will um, port for one here. Uh, we can't actually go to Alter Ego because I think this. Uh, when when this guy would scheme, it would go to the main scheme, so we have to just stay here. Oh well, uh, we have that for backup, so we won't die. Okay, so that is the hero phase. We'll throw back up four. We get Mantis, uh, leading blow, hard knocks, and deflection. Okay. So we go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme and the side schemes. So one here. Uh, that is not good. I think we have to play Mantis so we can dwarf two. So we have a chance to go to Alter Ego for a bit. We can't play any of these because we need to save them for this. Okay. Um, so bulldozer attacks. I think I won't. Well, I'll I'll have to defend, so die. So we will see. Four plus nothing. Two defense, so take two. Discard two. And we hit an event and an event, so we add one here. Uh, we also get a uh, vengeance counter. Then this guy attacks us. Oh yeah, uh, retaliate for one. And uh, this guy hits us for one. We retaliate for one. I think that is our villain phase. So let's go to the next hero phase. Just debating, do I want to just rush? But yeah, I need to remove one threat. So I, I, I have to play Mantis. There's no way around it. So I'm using all of these cards to play Mantis. And Mantis is removing two threats from here. And we'll actually stay. Um, because we, we have this to heal up a bit. We want to keep those, so I'm just uh, readying everything up. We'll get an extra encounter card. We... Crap. Did we lose now? No. We get an acceleration token here. And uh, shuffle these two. Athletic condition in intimidation, really good. Art knocks times two. Uh, we could, uh, but actually, let's count. We have attack of uh, five, six. Okay, so we uh, we win if we don't lose, <laughs> basically. Okay, uh, we got the villain phase. We have two threats here. Bulldozer attacks, I'll just take it with tracks. Okay, so nothing happens, but we'll take four. So we uh, only one damage was dealt. Oh no, it's dealt four, so we get event, 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 so only one. Oh yeah, and uh, 
this actually advances from that one because we forgot to add the one down to here. We discard 10 cards, that's a okay. No problem. Then uh, we'll, when Rax would be defeated, instead set this his hit point dial to 4, change him to alter ego form and remove this card from game. Oh crap. So we'll go to alter ego. So we're basically at 10. Crap. Because we heal for 6 and we had 4. We lose those. Oh damn. Oh yeah, and uh, retaliate for 1 and... We still have any lethal. So we have 2, 3, 4... Seven, we're two off. Okay, well, I think that was that, so we get to encounter cards. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap. So we we'll just lost because now this guy schemes because we are in Alter Ego. So close. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, sometimes stuff like this happens, so uh, we even could not uh, prevent that by defending with Mantis because Bulldozer has overkill. So we would have uh, went to Alter Ego either way. So, um, yeah, I, I forgot this that um, we go to Alter Ego from this, so that actually sucks. So, yeah. Uh, this guy schemes for we get traded out and that is that but still um, a pretty fun game uh, I actually enjoyed playing against the wrecking crew with Drax's pre-built deck it's uh, quite challenged and I wasn't playing on the most easy setting with the A side um, villain so uh, the B side offered a decent amount of challenge and we were practically one turn away from winning or, or nearly um, but yeah we, next turn we could have um, removed a bunch of threat and uh, just kill it with in, in, within a couple of turns with the retaliates but uh, sometimes uh, you can't see every scenario happening and new card so I, I didn't read the to stop and to die well enough because I, I forgot about changing to alter ego form. So yeah. Still, I hope you guys like this uh, playthrough with the Drax pre-built deck. Thanks for watching and until next time.